Hey guys, Mark from Copper vs Glass. Now Android L is only available if you've got a rooted device, but what if you want something like the search bar, the app drawer, and also the folder preview, along with some other features? Well you can, and all you need is Nova Launcher. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get some features from Android L on any Android device. So what I've just done, I've gone back to how I had Nova Launcher beforehand and I'm going to start by showing you the search bar. So you can go into your Nova settings or swipe up on the app drawer and then you want to go on to where it says desktop, go down to where it says persistent search bar and then you'll see one that is the Android L preview. You want to just click on that and then when you go back to your home screen you can see that you've now got the Android L search bar. Next up is folders. Now this one isn't specifically called L preview, but go into folders, folder preview, and then it's the last one on the list, which is new, and it's called line. Now like I said, it's not called L preview like some of the other tweaks that we're doing today, but it makes it look exactly like it does on the new Android L, with a more material design with everything stacked up straight instead of diagonally across. Next up is the app animation. On KitKat, when you open and close applications, they fade in and out. So again, go back into Nova, go on to where it says look and feel, and then go down to app animation. Now this one here is slide up, and you can see that it says L developer preview just under it as well. And like I say, when you exit out of an application, it will slide out the way. And also when you open an application, it will slide into frame. So it definitely looks very nice and it works with every application. So it's just something again that incorporates material design. And last up, we have the application icon. Now this one's done a little bit different. You don't actually have to go into Nova settings. What you do is tap and hold on the icon till it brings up this menu. Click on where it says edit. And then all you need to do is just click on the icon to the left hand side and it will open up all of the icons you've got on your device. Now with this one, it's part of the new default settings. You can see it just at the top there. There are also some Android L preview for the calculator and the settings, so you can use those if you wish. But for this example, we're only gonna be using the app drawer. Now the reason why I like this is because there's a lot of changes that are coming to Android, and this just kind of incorporates the more flat design that it's going for. So again, just click on the icon, click on the tick, and then you're pretty much done, and that is now changed. Next up is the Android L keyboard, which unfortunately has been now taken down from the Play Store. What I will do, I'll find the APK and put a link down in the description and you can just install it as you wish. But as you can see, it's basically a copy of the Android L keyboard and it works very well. I've not had any issues with it at all. So it just kind of gives a more Android L effect to your phone, even if you're not running the new developer preview. And that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. What I will do is put a written description down below as to how you can get all of these features as well. So it's very easy to follow along if you guys have got any more tips and tricks to make an unrooted phone and it has to be unrooted look more like android l then be sure to leave those down in the comments below if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up i'm michael from copper vs glass with a quick look at some android l features you can get on your android device right now and i will catch you guys in the next video